Hi everyone, welcome back to our ongoing series on how to create a life operating system in Notion. Today's going to be a quick one, but I wanted to follow up on the last two videos, which looked at how to plan our days so that we can execute with precision and consistency and get the things done that we most want to get done, not get distracted, stay focused on what matters. First, we looked at a way to prioritize in the action zone and in our daily focus area. And then we looked at how to do time blocking, coordinating between our action zone focus area and Google Calendar or Outlook or whatever calendar app you use. There's value in using both. And we talked about how to time block minute by minute, hour by hour throughout the day so that you can execute your days flawlessly with a high level of consistency day after day. Those are super valuable approaches. One's a little bit more rigid and absolute in terms of how it's gonna get things done. And the other's a little bit more flexible, but still gives you a very clear path on how to prioritize and execute through your day, hour by hour. Since we just looked at how to go back and forth between Google Calendar and our Notion daily planning system, I wanted to show you the best way available currently to bring Google Calendar into your Notion dashboard. So we'll be looking at how to put into our daily action zone a view of the Google Calendar with all the events we have scheduled in our Google Calendar right there in the same dashboard view as our daily planning in Notion. And then while we're at it, we're gonna look at a few other widgets from the same creators who enabled this Google View implementation in Notion. They have several other widgets that are pretty cool and pretty useful, so we're gonna look at those as well. The creators who did this go by the name Indify, so it's at indify.co, and you can have this up and running in a matter of minutes. So with that, let's dive right in. So starting out in our command center, as we always do, we're going to jump into the action zone where we plan out our day. We have our due dates, DO dates, for what we're going to actually do and work on each day. The night before, we plan the following day. The last two videos covered this methodology of planning each day in greater detail, so I encourage you to check those two videos out if you haven't seen them already, especially the previous one that talks about how to coordinate between your Google Calendar or your Outlook or any calendar app you use and your Notion daily action planning. But it would be helpful to have our Google Calendar visible right within the same dashboard, and that's what we're going to look at today. Wouldn't it be great to have a toggle to open and just see the Google Calendar here without jumping back and forth to make sure that all of your Google Calendar scheduled events will be known to you as you're looking at your primary Notion dashboard for getting things done on a day-to-day -day basis. So the way we do this, is we go to a website called indify.co. Just type in I-N-D-I-F-Y dot C-O. You'll come to their homepage, create an account, which is very quick. Just enter an email. They'll send you a link. You'll go to your inbox, confirm the magic link, and you'll have an account, and you'll be all set up. Then you open it, and you'll have all these widgets to choose from. They'll be down here. I've actually played with these top widgets, which is why they're listed as my widgets, but you're going to have them all down here as Explore widgets. All you do is click on the ones you want. Start by clicking on Google Calendar. So you can click that Create Widget right here. It's going to create that. You're going to click Sign In with Google, and you're going to sign in with the Google ID that your calendar is attached to. Now, this is the one caveat. You will have to grant Indify access to your calendar scheduling. So if you have privacy concerns, this isn't going to work for you. The calendar will still be private. You don't have to put it on a public setting but the company Indify will have access to your calendar data. You can see how that would be required for this to function. So there's no, really no way around that. I don't know Indify, I don't know anybody there, so I can't vouch for them. I know they have a good reputation among the Notion community, so that seems promising. And in order to get some of the pro features, you have to get a pro account, which would be multi-calendar support, which would be the one thing that'd be appealing to me. The design is great, the simplicity is hard to beat. So you just sign in here, you go through the normal, authorization with Google, and then you will end up back where I am, having created this with one of my secondary accounts. So once you enter that and connect your Google account, you have a lot of settings and options. You can choose the default view between month, day, week, if you made it weekly, that could be useful too. You'll see here we have the calendar view we saw in my previous video, it's the exact same one, link to this. Month is probably the most useful for me. Future months to display, now with the pro account, you can get more than four months of events, but I think for most people, three or four months is sufficient. You get all these different settings, time increments, start weeks on Mondays or Sundays, and just adjust for you there as you're setting it. You can go to 24 hour time format, colors, dark mode or light mode. You get to choose between dark mode and light mode. Of course, I'm doing it in dark mode because I always do dark mode and all that. So you basically design it the way you want it, then copy the link down here by clicking the clipboard. 
then toggle back over to your Notion system. For me, I'd put it under a toggle, but I'd probably do a full width toggle, although you don't have to, whatever works for you. Open the toggle and then just paste it. It's gonna give you these options, choose create embed, and it will embed that right in your calendar here. It's gonna come in the smaller view, but you can stretch it wider or taller if you want. Just make it fit the way you want it to fit. So there you go, you can toggle closed or open and it'll give you your calendar view right there. Might be nice to keep it small and just tuck it under one of those columns. You can switch to week view, scroll through it. Of course, day view and agenda. Agenda's kind of nice, but month is pretty useful too. So now you've got your Google Calendar view there. Now you cannot actually modify it here. It's only, it's view only, but that's pretty helpful. You wanna make sure you're not missing any scheduled events. It's all right there. So I think that's pretty cool. I think it looks pretty nice. I think the design is well done. So that's an option. A couple other things while we're here at the Indify website, they have a couple other cool widgets that are simpler but useful. This time perspective one is really great. I think this is probably even my favorite. So here again, you can choose between light view and dark view. You can set which ones you want, but it gives you these progress bars, not for your activity, but for where you are in various time cycles. We do a lot of cycle reviews at the end of every week, at the end of every month, quarterly, annually. This tells you where you are in the year. We're 9% of the way through the year at this point on February 1st. The month is 4% done. We're at the end of the first day of February. 4% of the month is over, but it will let you know where you are in the month. It's so easy to lose track of where you are in the month. Even easier to lose track of where you are in the year. And we're 13% of the way through the week here at the end of Monday. In terms of the day, we're 89% of the day on this Monday. And in terms of the quarter, we're 35% of the way through the quarter. We're one day over one month into the quarter. This gives you a great perspective. So pick the ones you want. It can also, if you enter your birthday, give you an estimated amount of time you have left in your life if you wanna if you want to go there. Anyway, you clip this in the same way we just did the other one and you could paste this. And if we put the Google Calendar right there, we might wanna put this one to the right of it. And again, we, so we can put it right there, create embed, just like before. Give it a moment. and then it comes in and then you can reshape it to whatever size you want. And now you've got a tracker as to where you are in time across the year, month, week, day, and quarter, which I think is pretty cool and somewhat useful because it's easy to lose track and hard to keep that psychology of, I need to get certain things done within certain time periods. I find this useful. If that's too big, you can make it even smaller. Then they have the best designed weather widget I've seen. Again, this one, just like the last one, all of these, you can toggle between light mode and dark mode. This one has a mode for grayscale versus colored. You can have a little splash of color in there or keep a grayscale. I think the grayscale is quite elegant. And then you just copy the clipboard. And you bring that over too. Paste it, create embed, let it process and load. And then you have a very nice weather widget. You can shrink it to the point it doesn't create a scroll bar. And there you go. I think these are pretty cool. They look really elegant. So wanted to share those. But the calendar view made sense given that we just did a video on how to bring Google Calendar and your Notion Action Zone daily prioritization and daily planning together. This is a way to bring visibility of them both into the same dashboard. And that wraps up a few episodes here in a row on daily scheduling and calendar scheduling. Next, we're going to get to the long awaited mindset and identity sculpting videos. I'm gonna break them into two, one on mindset, one on identity sculpting. Now these are not going to be the comprehensive approach to mindset, that's way beyond a single video. And really that's going to be one of the themes of the whole year coming up. But I'm going to first show you in these initial two videos, how to set up the Notion system to help you in your mindset journey and your identity sculpting journey, because this is a long path, a long journey. And as with everything, it's helpful to have a skeletal structure established in Notion to help you on the way, to capture what you need to capture, to remind you of what you need to be reminded of. So this is more about the tool implementation, not the full execution. And then in subsequent videos, we'll get into a broader range of how to shape and form 
the proper mindset to make things happen in your life and the proper identity so that you have the confidence and the tools and skills to go out and make it happen. If this is of interest, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to get updates on future videos. Leave thoughts or questions below or join us at my new online community for a broader conversation. That's at yearzero.io. And hit like if you found this video valuable. I also write a newsletter called Mind and Machine on increasing human capability. I give away several of my best Notion templates to anyone who subscribes to the newsletter. You can, of course, unsubscribe at any time, but I hope you'll give it a chance. I work hard to pack it with a lot of valuable insight. The newsletter link is also below in the show notes. Thanks for watching. Lots more to come.